Donald Norman, principle of design, is one of the best principle of design. Norman's idea is to avoid two gulfs, gulf of execution and gulf of evaluation. There are six principles of Don Norman. The first one is visibility. Users need to know what all the options are and know straight away how to access all of them. This is a good looking e-commerce website. But the only function you get is search items. In e-commerce, there should at least be categories options, price range, and a card value. But here, there are no such options available in the beginning. User must scroll all the way to the bottom to find the options. Now let's redesign the website to get the visibility. This is the redesigned website. Here, all the options that you need for our e-commerce website are visible. Categories option, department, different section of cloth clothing are available. Navigation page and shop where you get range of pricing options in the left. Feedback. Feedback means reaction caused by action. There needs to be some indication like sound, a moving dial, or a spinning rainbow wheel. Example, here in this payment website, a user enters his valuable information including his credit card number. For case 1, submit button is pressed but without any action, the website is redirected back. This can create confusion and panic among the users. EC cannot confirm if his or payment was successful or not. For case 2, submit button is pressed. Here the loading icon is the feedback which assures that the process of the transaction is going on. Let's understand what is affordance. Affordance is the relationship between what something looks like and how it is used. For designers, it means that as soon as someone says something, they have to know how to use it. We automatically learn to use a screwdriver when it's on our hand. In electronic world, affordance is widely practiced here. Mobile phone has high affordance, it's easy to figure in intuitively how to use it. How to hold mobile phone or to use mobile icons to use mobile application. The icon camera here clearly makes us understand to click photos, similarly messaging icon for sending messages and so on. Holding camera makes us clear where we can press to click photos. Lack of appearance leads to confusion. This kind of doors are really confusing. Mapping are used to determine relationship, typically between something you want to control and the things you use to control it. Let's go to quick example. Here, steering of a car is mapped such that turning left takes car towards left direction, likewise turning right makes car to drive right. The next real world example is stop. Here, the stop it has 4 burners and there are 4 switches or dial to control 4 burners. Problem here is to map different burner with different switches. So here, another stop where mapping is pretty clear and we have clear idea. Which switch is used to control which burner? And this is proper mapping. Constraints Constraints are the design features that limit the range of possible actions or interactions that user can take to simplify the interface and guide the user to appropriate next action. Limitless possibilities often leave the user confused. Constraints narrow down the set of options users have to consider, reduce the chances of error, and make your task easier. There are different types of constraints, for example, physical constraints. USB cables are the charges we use. Some of these cables can only go in one way, not the other. And about the logical constraints, there are times when the unavailable menu items are read out or deactivated. For example, here on the Windows Explorer, the best option is faded, as it is unavailable. Consistency. Consistency refers to having similar operations and similar elements for achieving similar tasks. Systems are usable and learnable when similar concepts are expressed in similar ways. One of the major ways that people learn is by discovering patterns. Consistency is a key to help users recognize and apply patterns. Things that look similar should do similar things. For example, if we learn that protruding surfaces with labels on them are buttons that can be pressed, then the next time we see it, we will tend to recognize it as a principal button. Inconsistency causes confusion because things don't work the way user expects them to.